Hey, what's going on everybody? Verdi here with another Raid Shadow Legends video. So today I have some interesting news that we figured out. And the news is that you are able to tell how much money you spent on the game because of the way the support tickets work. So if you go into here, you click on info and you click on support, it will bring you to this page right here, right? Little did you know that if you click on this and scroll all the way to the end, all through all that stuff, deposits count $18,450 was spent on this account. So how sick is it that they have the amount of money you spent at the end of your support ticket so that way they can technically pick and choose whose tickets they respond to when they respond to them based on how much money they spent this is literally one of the most disgusting things that I have ever seen in my life actually and you saw this did this account $18,000 was spent on this account in like three months. So what does $18,000 get you in Ray Shadow Legends? So we have a lot of champions here, right? A lot of legendaries. But when you go to the vault, you're going to start seeing things like this. One duchess, two duchess. <laughs> Three Duchess, two War Mothers, two Blood Gorge, two Norag, two more Macabs. How many My Salads do I have on this account? Two, three, or oh, three more two Macabs, two Chomp Forts. I mean, look at all these dupes. Look at all. Look at all the dupes. Look at all the dupes. And there's still no system in this game for dupes so technically eighteen thousand dollars on an account just gets you a bunch of a bunch of worthless stuff it's it's honestly beyond me like it's beyond my my understanding to how this company functions and what exactly is their goal at the end i mean i have had I've spent the last month answering for Plarium to players like, oh, why are they not responding to my tickets? Why is this happening? Why is that happening? Well, the answer to that is very simple, guys. You didn't spend enough money. You are not important enough to Plarium as a player if you don't spend ridiculous amounts of money. I'm, I wonder, and I'm not making any purchases this is not even my account this is plugs account hellbound's account that i've been playing for the last three or four months and since i am not currently spending money i'm advising him not to spend money we don't want to show this but if you make a one dollar purchase it will live update so instead of getting content instead of getting new things in game they concentrate their time on how much money each player has spent and it would seem that that's how they prioritize their support i mean this has got to be against google terms of service right and i'm willing to bet that this is why we have the plarium play pc app this isn't this is not to help us Right? Did we? I always thought that this PC version was amazing and that it's like one of the coolest things that any mobile game has done. It's actually, once again, a scam for, for Plarium to technically cut Google out off the Google profits because Google does take a, a percentage out of the in-app purchases. And every other game is fine with that. And this is why no other game has done a PC version or a PC client. So, honestly, one of the only things that I thought were really cool about Plarium 
was the fact that we have this PC client. But that whole notion was just shut down because I am confident now, confident, that the reason why we got the Player and Play app is so that way they can cut Google out of the percentage and take all the money for themselves. And to me, it I think that that's absolutely ridiculous. Like, what... What is actually going on at Plarium? Like, I, I don't understand. We have this... So, we keep getting the same tournaments over and over again. Here we go. Dragon Tournament with crap rewards. Epic set of gear. Blah, blah, blah. Then we have the Champion Chase Tournament. You need to spend five... You need to get 5,000 points to get one Legendary book. Now... You can buy legendary books <clears throat> in the shop for a ridiculous amount of money. One book for $35. So I can what? Book my dupe legendaries? I mean, I was definitely not planning on doing another complaining slash rant video anytime soon after my last one. But Aplarium literally doesn't give us any choice. It's... It, it's crazy. It's absolutely crazy to me that this is what they track. That they track how much money you spend in in support tickets. So that way they ignore you if you didn't spend enough money. And and just that to me is just such a horrible concept and and just so wrong to the player base that I I don't even understand how that is okay. And then you have events here that are getting, we're getting 3 XP brews, 5 XP brews, 8 XP, XP brews, while Plarium is sitting back laughing at us. Like, look at these idiots spending all this money to get pretty much nothing, right? You, you, you're just looking to get legendary books to book your legendaries out of the money you spent on the shards to get the legendary and then you get all these dupe legendaries and there's nothing you can do with them. I'm... And this is why they keep releasing new champions. Everything is about that number that I just showed you at the end of your support ticket. Everything at the end boils down to money. And I understand that it's a company that needs to make money. I'm perfectly fine with that, right? That's why we all do work. Usually it's because most of us love it. Some of us don't. But we are looking to make money. And like I said, as much as I understand wanting to make money, the way Plarium goes about it is probably one of the most disgusting things or disgusting ways that I have seen a company treat their supporters or whatever you want to call it is because if we don't spend any money, they, they, they fail, right? But we keep getting these crazy deals, these crazy expensive deals, and there's nothing literally you can do in this game without spending money. And this just proves, or not, it doesn't prove, it just solidifies my theory earlier that this is just a scam and there's some rich dude behind this trying to get, trying to get laughs out of how much money he can make off of completely obliterating people's bank accounts. And charging ridiculous prices for in-game items and having ridiculous energy costs and just just absolute nonsense and i mean as i said in the last video and this is probably another reason why we have more champions than we have room for it's because quality of life is not important to them if there's an issue with the game getting an answer to the ticket is not important to them Unless you spent thousands and thousands of dollars. So this is the answer for you guys. For all of you people out there who are not able to get a response from Plarium. Look at that number. And maybe even leave some comments below with or screenshots even. You can send it to me to Discord and stuff. We can, we, we can definitely talk more about this. But you can go ahead and send me, if you're willing to share it, 
especially those of you that are low spenders and that have tried to that have tried to contact Plarium. If you can get me some sort of a screenshot, or if you're willing to share it, like I said, you can you can send it to me on Discord. You don't you don't have to leave it on YouTube, and we can go ahead and try to break down whether Plarium actually does do this. But I'm I'm like almost hundred percent confident that this is why we don't get our tickets answered, and we need this to stop. We need this to stop as much as as much as I am telling you all right now that you need to stop spending money because we just we just need a drastic change. We need a drastic change, or or we need the game to be thrown into the bin. You know, it needs to be gone. It either needs to be gone or it needs to change because this is actually ridiculous I, I like i can't i can't believe that this is what they do i'm very disappointed and i cannot believe that this is the way they treat us i, I just don't understand why why this is like that and as you see there i mean there's probably multiple accounts there's probably thousands of accounts that have spent more money than this account has so they're swimming in the dough and we're stuck with new champions with no content and we need to riot we need to riot we need to go on discord we need to blast them on discord as much as we possibly can because they need to understand that this is wrong that they can't do this so yeah i know i just dropped a bomb on you guys i'm really sorry about that but i have to share it because you know that everyone else is going to share it so yeah, like I said before, please leave a comment below, message me on Discord, and uh, let's try to break this thing down even further. I'm really trying to get behind this and see if there's an impact that we can make in order for this to change. Because I don't want the game to die. Like I said, I like the game. I, I want the game to just be better. And it, it's, it just keeps dropping things on me that I, I don't even know how to react to. I'm like almost stuttering out of words here because I don't understand in what reality they exist where they think that something like this is okay. It's it's absolutely ridiculous and disgusting, as I've said in the first video. And I think that about does it for today's video, guys. Uh, please leave a like and a subscribe, and uh, I'll see you all in the next one. Peace.